Good morning. Today is day 23, nope, 22 slash 23. Um, hot Springs. Uh, yesterday was a day off, so I didn't video yesterday. But we came into Hot Springs, spent the night, spent a full day off, and then ended up uh, taking, uh, sleeping there again last night. And now we're off to the races, uh, walking through Hot Springs right now and being able to kind of take it all in. But there is a diner over here behind me. And then we'll turn it so you can face and you can see kind of down, maybe not. There's AT stamps in the, in the sidewalk the whole way. So there's a Dollar General over there. There's a Dollar General. There's a hillbilly mart. There's some taverns and pubs. So we kind of just spent the day hanging out, drinking coffee and eating a bunch of food, getting a bunch of food for the, for the trail. But today we'll bring about 11 miles to the uh, shelter up in the mountains. And then we'll be uh, kind of right back at it. Got about 70 miles before the next stop or the next town. So I have enough food to get me there. And my wife will be sending a resupply box. But my pack is heavy today. I think I have like six pounds of food, which is the heaviest it's been in a while. So as I get into the mountains, I'll, I'll talk more. But yeah, this is... Uh, thing but as far as an announcement I will not be call it dropping a video on um, Sundays anymore because it's just I, I need to get more of a buffer um, yesterday I spent all the have most half the day downloading six videos and that was just a lot to take care of all in one day so I'm gonna not show a video I'm not going to show a video on Sundays and that will help me keep up with a with a daily video. You will still get daily videos just not to expect one on Sunday, but here we go through the town and then up in the mountains. Hey, so yeah, I'm back. Um few things I want to talk about. Right now I'm standing in the middle of a controlled burn that they did, I believe, a week or two ago. But I don't know really if you can see, but it's very sparse between the trees. A lot of the, a lot of the saplings and the smaller stuff were burnt off. Um, and this goes, this has been going, I don't know, for the last quarter mile or whatever. And it's, uh, it's just a way to keep the forest fresh. Um, fortunately, it was not at a time where I had to come through here because then I would have had to either wait or divert. So that's the first thing. Um, on the other side of this mountain, I was kind of going across the ridge and I started to hear all this cracking noise. And I look across and about a half mile away on the other, on the other mountain, there was a tree and it just started cracking and it just crashed to the, to the floor. I looked in the direction, I couldn't see it happening. It's too far away, which was good, <laughs> but uh, it was just a, it was kind of an amazing sound how loud it was and when it crashed down you know it took out other trees and I didn't know if the ground because of all the rain or uh, maybe because of this uh, this burn that we had kind of just softened the ground and made it so that the the tree would come crashing down but I, I'm unsure if they did a control burn over there but it was 
yeah it was it was something and then uh other thing i took that zero yesterday and i have been just totally out of it like i've been hiking for four and a half hours i mean what i'm only going 12 miles uh today there's i think if i turn the camera I think that mountain over there is, it doesn't look like much, but we have to, we, we're, we're climbing down, going down a 500 feet before we, before I climb up the other side. Um, so that's kind of where we're at, but I was just, as far as the fatigue, I don't know why, but I have uh, a few things going on physically. I've, I mentioned the tendonitis that I have in the in the lower anterior shin, the front part of my shin, you know, kind of in the crook of the ankle, right? And uh, now we're getting a little windy here. Stop behind this tree. And, um, but then my edema came back and I don't know if it's because I was walking funny. Um, that was part of it. I, the, the pack is heavy. I actually did a big resupply in the, in the town that, uh, in Hot Springs, which was really helpful to get, um, to get all that food. And then I have a resource or a, a reef supply box coming to me. And, um, I think you'd be able to hear me. I don't know. Hopefully you can. It's just a light breeze. Um, although it's going through my ears. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. Uh, so I have a resupply box in about 70 miles. And that has all my pre-prepared meals. So I am going to be eating carnivore snacks for the next... Uh, standing behind this tree, this double tree. Uh, I'll be having the carnivore snacks for the next... Um, four or five days and that hopefully will bring my energy back up uh yesterday i ate a bunch of wings which was really good that was uh, you know the first time i've been able to have wings uh, in the last three and a half weeks and then uh i had big old iced coffee probably like a they call it the bottomless cup. I guess that's a coffee term, right? You guys can kind of let me know that. A bottomless cup of, of iced coffee. So that was about four hours of sitting at a cafe, hanging out, uh, kind of watching the the trickling traffic of um, of hot springs. But so that was, but it was nice. Um, and then because of like the, well, I had a big breakfast. And so I think it just, I feel like I, I got enough nutrients yesterday, but I just was groggy and fatigued uh, for the first half of the morning. And that was, uh, that wasn't fun. So hopefully that all clears out. Today we'll do, we're doing 12 is my, I guess, tramley and I are doing 12 to a shelter that's over on that other mountain over there and most likely be pushing to 15 or 18 uh, the next uh, few days to get into the town of, oh goodness, can't remember it. Anyhow, the next town. Uh, but in the meantime, I will be passing through tomorrow, mile 300 on my Appalachian Trail trip, which will put me about one seventh of the way done. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll get down to the shelter in a little bit, probably about an hour, and then close it out there. Hey, so I made it down to the shelter and now I'm going to put up my bear hang so that we have food tomorrow. And I'm just going to show you basically what it all is all about. So you hook it up here 
you pull up the uh, you pull the cords or the the cables and then you hook them to the tree and then we'll call it good. And there you have it. Fair hang. So let's, uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, and share. See you tomorrow.